Math simulations are a way to visualize mathematical ideas naturally. They currently come in six flavors. Rotation, temperature, length, number of objects, luminous intensity, and time. Let's start with temperature. All objects have temperature, and those temperatures change. Math simulations allow us to capture those temperatures and represent them in an intuitive way. In this simulation, temperature is visualized in two ways, as a color and as the height of a vertical line. Sliding the slider changes the temperature. The temperature can also be set by entering a specific value for x. The range of temperatures can also be set and the temperatures can be made to move through the entire range automatically by pressing the play button. Next is rotation. Many objects are designed to rotate or are arranged with rotations. Simulations capture this. Here it is visualized as a line segment rotating around a point. Like in the temperature simulation, the input range can be set. Sliding the slider changes the angle. The angle can also be set by entering a value for x. Next up is the number of objects simulation. This is meant to visualize anything that can be counted. Number of zebras, number of rocks, number of knots, or number of claps are some examples. Sliding the slider changes the number of objects, which can be negative. There is a checkbox that allows you to lock the input to whole number values. As with the other simulations, the value range can be input and the simulation can play automatically with the play button. Next simulation is length, which is represented as a line segment. The length can be negative since this simulation is intended to be used for any position related situation. The line segment can be placed at any angle depending on the situation that is being modeled. As with the others, the range of lengths can be input and the simulation can be automated. The next one is luminous intensity, which is a measure of the amount of light being emitted from a source. It is represented as a square with a color ranging from black to white where pure black represents the lowest amount of luminous intensity in the range and pure white represents the highest amount of luminous intensity in the range. And finally, time. Time, like math, is everywhere. It is central and often interacts with the other simulations. As a simulation, time is visualized as a horizontal slider. Like the other simulations, the high and low values can be entered and the simulation can be automated by pressing the play button. So that's that. Now that you understand the six basic simulations, you're ready to start learning how to use them to revolutionize your math instruction. To access these simulations, visit manifest.education, then hover over resources and click on simulations. This will take you to the main simulation page.